Hi Aquarius, it's me G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your message for the month of June 2019. This is your life and love focus, but this is also a general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. So guys, please double check other planets and stars and signs within your birth chart so that way you can have extra clarity on exactly what you may and may not be going through or may possibly be experiencing around this time of the year, okay? We are in a season where we are in that six-month mark, okay? So we literally got past the first six months of the year. Um, and for most people, that is like victory, you know? And for you, Aquarius, I feel like this is a time to just kind of reflect on what you desire in love especially. Um, I feel like the career part is not really a problem for you. Like you... Um, can go out and you can make money and you can be totally successful um, with all of your resources. You have great connections. Um, and so I, I see that you will be taking advantage of a lot of those resources this season. Um, but I also feel like you have to be able to make clear intentions. And Aquarius, I feel like I've been saying this to you for a while now. Like even in the month of April, um, I've said some things like this to you about setting clear intentions. A lot of times I feel like Aquarius people in general have a hard time expressing what they really feel and what they really think, right? And so no matter what happens, like they can be so in love and just have such a hard time just expressing that. Unless you have more of a um, a non-emotional sign in your birth chart, like um, like either Capricorn or if you have like, um, maybe you have like, what's a good sign? Like Leo, for example, or Gemini. Maybe if you had some of that energy in your birth chart, then that may help you this season with as far as um, expressing yourself. Because the thing is, the sun is still in Gemini, but then Mercury, which is Gemini's ruling planet, goes into Cancer this season, okay? And when that happens, our communication is, um, we tend, a lot of us tend to be very vulnerable, um, a lot of us can have a tendency to long for something or yearn for like that deeper connection. And I feel like with that Mercury energy going into Cancer, this is allowing us to get in touch with our emotions in a much more, um, I, I don't want to say, even though Cancers can be gen, gen, generally, excuse me, um, kind of sensitive, I don't want to say that you guys are going to be overly sensitive, but I just feel like you guys are going to be longing or yearning for that that touch or that person or just desiring to just be next to that person, missing someone, okay? For some of you, this could possibly, it, it's not, listen guys, this is a general reading, so I'm going to just give it out there, okay? For a lot of you, this may include a separation, um, it's not really indicating whether this is um, someone you were in a serious committed relationship with, but it could really be anybody that you just simply love and they're separating from you somehow. Not in a bad way, but maybe uh, situations occurred in their life that is causing them to have to separate from you. And I feel like you... In the month of April and May, you kind of played around a lot with the with the feelings when it came to this person. Like, you wasn't really trying to take it too seriously. And then, not because you didn't want to, but you just was kind of skeptical about certain circumstances or situations that involved this person. Um, and I feel like you you had your doubt but it's like now that they're, they're leaving or they're separating from you, you're having this uh, feeling of damn, I should have said something, you know, like that feeling of regret or um, feeling like you should have stepped up when you had the chance. And I want you to know, Aquarius, that the, it's not too late for you to do that. You know, use this energy to really, really, really tell this person how you feel before it is too late, okay? For some of you, this could be um, an ex for some of you, this could be a friend, maybe that you end up catching feelings for. For a lot of you, um, this could be a marriage situation, okay? Um, 
and it, you know, there may be, maybe you guys haven't really been seeing eye to eye lately, but I do feel like you Aquarius people are literally yearning for some type of deeper connection. And to be honest, a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you, a great deal of you are looking at a situation that occurred and you're only looking at the bad side of it or you're staying stuck on something way too long. Like... I feel like whatever it is that you and your spouse, if you are coupled up, if you and your spouse were going through some issues, I feel like the storm is over, but for some reason you just won't let it be. Or for some of you, um, you may have had someone that it took you a really long time to get over or to forgive. And I feel like a lot of you are still dealing with that energy. And I spoke to you about this, if not in May, it was definitely in April, where a lot of you are holding on to this energy that you really needed to let go of. And I feel like you don't have all the things, all the fear and doubt that you have had about your love life or about this individual, I feel like is actually going away from you. Like the problem is actually being resolved, but you just won't come out of your um, <laughs> that stigma, you know, like I said, that, that Mercury going into cancer energy is really going to make you feel like you want to, res you know, um, it's going to make you feel full of resentment a lot, like really feeling like, damn, you know, I should have did this. I really missed this person. I don't know why they hurt me like this. I don't know why they want to leave me. You know, it's a lot of just a feeling of resentment. And for some of you, this is more of just um, possibly even just being skeptical about getting into a new relationship. And for some of you, it's about you not moving on from a relationship that you should have let go of a long time ago. A lot of you can't fully, truly be happy with the one that you were supposed to be with. And you didn't give yourself a chance with this new person because of the hurt um, or pain that you have went through in your past. And now that this new person is like, look, I don't have a day to wait for you. I'm done. You know, I'm good. You take too long. You playing with my feelings too much. You know, like now that that person is like kind of rejecting your approach or your um, proposal, I feel like a lot of you are getting upset about that, but not in a way to kind of fight or anything. But I do feel like um, in order for the door to romance to really fully be open to you, you're going to have to be a bit more receptive and really, really tap into your throat chakra energy this season, okay? Really, really, and even your solar plexus, you know, because that represents your, your deeper emotions. So maybe try to wear, like, um, a lot of yellow or... Um, you know, like, yeah, like a lot of yellow or even represent your sacred chakra. Wear like a lot of orange or brown or um, if you want to wear like a lot of blues, you can do that too because that will kind of help with your energy. Um, but I do feel like the angel of love is really pouring its abundance out to you in love. So it's, it's not saying that love is not possible for you this season, but it is saying that if you don't come out of this dull feeling or this feeling of resentment or regret and feeling like, you know, you know, you really miss this person. You should have said something, you know, don't stay stuck in that situation for too long. If anything, you want to just tell this person how you feel. I know that a lot of you are actually probably just even afraid of how this person may react to you. When you do say something, you're afraid of that rejection. And you don't want to admit it, but you are. You're afraid of that rejection. You don't want to fall in love with this person and then they hurt you. Of course, none of us want to be hurt, right? So it's only right to say... You know what? While this person is here, while they're in my life, I'm going to show them how I feel. I'm going to cherish them. I'm going to spend time with them. I'm going to, you know, share a few good moments with them. I'm going to build memories with this person, you know? And for those of you, maybe you were interested in dating someone new, but for a lot of you, this is an ex or someone um, you have had deep connections with previously. Uh, maybe somewhere in the past, a long time ago, I'm not sure, but I, I just feel like it's, it was recent. Um, yeah, it's time. It's time for you to kind of just step up to the plate and let them know, listen, I'm done playing games. I want you. I love you. I need you. 
You know, those are the type of things that you really, really want to express. And don't be afraid of that, you know. I think the problem is, is you know, Aquarius people have a tendency to just be impulsive. When Whenever you guys are afraid of something, you shut down or you just move on to the next best thing. Or And I feel like you never really truly give yourself a chance. And that's part of the problem. You never really truly give yourself a chance to just be happy. And you deserve happiness, Aquarius. I've been telling you this for the past few months now. So going into the next six months of this year, I want you to work on those things being more expressive, you know, being more honest, you know, don't just be expressive when you're angry or upset, be expressive when you're in love and when you're happy and something amazing is happening in your world, that is, learn to express yourself that way, because there's nothing better than learning how to manifest your clear intentions into reality, um, it's nothing better than that, so you have to learn how to truly, truly manifest, my love. And you can't do that with all these changing emotions and changing ideas and impulsive thinking. So I think with Mercury going into Cancer this season, is really allowing you to kind of tap into your vulnerability. And, I mean, especially for those of you who may actually have Cancer as a sun, moon, or rising, you know, I would advise I'm – that you, I would advise you to actually go look at Cancer's video as well. Um, because again, this is one of those seasons where it's like tapping into that vulnerability, getting in touch with someone from your past, reminiscing a lot about someone from your past. Um, and for a lot of you, don't get me wrong, for some of you, this person from your past is actually no good for you, okay? So some of you are reminiscing about somebody who really, really had you down and depressed because you're thinking only of what they did do for you, but you're not really thinking about all the pain that they took you through, okay? And for some of you, it's a complete opposite. You can't stop thinking of the pain that this person put you through so you're having a hard time moving on with someone new or someone that you're really in love with and you're afraid to just tell them how you feel so key point is try to work on these things okay we do have a new moon in gemini this season that new moon in gemini is going to help you with the logical side of you you know allowing you to tap into the reason why you are the way that you are don't be afraid to pray extra harder if you need to don't be afraid to tap into that sensitive side of yourself because you're going to need the all the energy that is coming to you this season you're going to need it okay um, now, again, when it comes to career, I mean, I don't really see any issues in that area. I think that overall you guys are doing really, really well. Um, I would say just try to save your money more. Try to practice saving or invest in your finances. Um, even if it's something really minor you may not see a big deal in putting away twenty dollars a week but give it six months you will have way much more money than you just currently have so try your best to really really manage your finances this season i know it's the summertime everybody's excited everybody's getting ready to go on vacation but try your best to minimize your shopping try not to overindulge okay because again that mercury going into cancer is making you feel a bit vulnerable and with aquarius feel vulnerable they like to tap into things that make them feel happy and shopping is one of them you guys love to spend money so try not to overindulge this season okay but i love you aquarius but i have to go please like and share and subscribe to this channel thank you for all your love and support please comment below bye